me and my girls were sending these pictures to each other all the last couple of days. Jesse Williams has people on social media in an uproar after a new video from his Broadway show, Take Me Out, was leaked. Now, the play features a shower scene where most of the cast are naked. I'm talking full, full frontal nudity, if y'all, if y'all don't see it. Now, audience members were, of course, required to lock their phones in pouches during the show. But, of course, someone snuck one in and uh, someone broke the rule and posted a video from his performance on social media. Did y'all see the video and the pictures? And what do you think about this story? And y'all, uh, me and my girls in my group chat are all talking about book and flights. They already sent me how much the orchestra seats are. We <laughs> going. Al, you, what do you think? Did you see it? So I, did, I, I didn't get to see the all the way nude pictures, but I did see the pictures that um, that were sent, you know, with the face over everything. But from what I understand, reading Twitter and everything, it's, it's something to be very proud of. Um, but you know what was so interesting was, Claudia, you and Q can speak to this. Don't you get scripts of what you have to do, right? Like, so he knew that he was going to be nude on the stage when he was doing Broadway. I was surprised to read on social media that he's blocking so many people because of their admiration of his third leg. It leads me to believe in a way that he wasn't expecting that type of attention because when i think of jesse williams i think of you know a very serious actor you know he was a very loud voice in the black lives matter movement so i think of him also act as an activist uh what do you guys think i'm sending you the pictures right now so check your phone okay <laughs> send it to me too girl because my cousin said, just asked me about it but I said, you I sent them to me I I you got them. to your point about him being a very serious actor i think that is why um he is offended because you know he committed to the role he committed to the art which i can appreciate now let me say this as a civilian um baby i loved it you know i'm here for it he's a beautiful specimen who doesn't like to look at something physically beautiful as a performer though i'm appalled and i'm offended you know what Uh, i'm saying because there there's an expectation that you and i have entered into a sacred song and dance as a stage performer these mm -hmm. are the rules I am giving this performance my all. I am stripping bare bones naked. And in theater, you're supposed to respect the sanctity of that. And somebody came in and violated that. Um, Nobody wants to, despite the fact that I've entered into this contract and I'm doing it for a live audience, nobody wants their genitals plastered across the internet. Nobody wants to be walking up and down the street with their girlfriend or their wife or whomever. And now people are snickering and making comments. Nobody wants their image and their reputation tainted by new pictures. So I, I definitely felt him on the uh, Watch What Happens Live interview when he was like, I don't like none of it. Um, but if you have to find the silver lining, I'm pretty sure that they saw a spike in ticket sales as a result. Sure. Claudia, Claudia, I got a question. You remember when we were coming through, the last thing you wanted were nude pictures out there. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's changed? Like as a woman in the industry, remember how how you couldn't be exposed remember how they exposed vanessa williams and they were like all down with her career and they were exposing all these different women like has things changed is has new pictures being leaked uh now make you a, a, a bigger commodity especially if you're as big as he is um yeah this is why i i really wanted to do the jane kennedy story because it's such a different place where we are now when jane kennedy you know her it was a tape that was leaked to her sex tape right that was meant for her and her husband was leaked. It destroyed her. It made her go into hiding and it, it ruined a very bright career. And then look where we were 20, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry, about 40 years later, um, 35 years later with Kim and the Paris Hills. Now people are purposely doing this because it does. It definitely does lead to things. Now I think the tickets, I think I saw were like 568, like in, uh, upwards, like they were, they were mm. high you know, if that play and they're going through the roof now, like everybody wants to go. It's not a negative anymore. It's not a taboo. Mm -hmm. Now I do think, think that it was a violation. If you agreed to um, to, to the the terms Mm -hmm. of being in that audience and you're not supposed to have your phone out, you are violating those actors that they may be like, okay, I'm doing it for the theater for people that are there. And now it's on social media to be a meme. By the way, did y'all get the pictures? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. (laughs) I can't believe I'm looking at it. You look good. I didn't know it was like that. Oh, whoa. Okay. You know, there's something about this that I, I think I would be interested in doing something like this. Of course you would, Al. You're at the <laughs> Al, could you do full frontal nudity on stage, like a live show in front of everybody? I I, I am a uh exhibitionist. Um 
I think when he spoke about how vulnerable it was, I, it, that resonated with me. But I think with a few drinks, yeah, I, I think I could do that. I think I think I could. Kim, could you? I don't think so. Yeah. Really, Q? I don't think so. I don't think so. And listen, it, 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 I'm just, I don't think so. And I've done a lot of wild things in front of a lot of people. <laughs> I just don't think I could do that. Right. I, I think for me, I think for me, when you start playing in that arena, it's a contract between me and whoever I'm doing it with or whoever's in the room. But for fear of something like this is probably why I couldn't do it. Right. And right. Then too, I just I just wouldn't want to be sitting in a business meeting somewhere and people are like snickering and, and whispering off to the side because mm -hmm. they know what I look like naked. I, it would just always torment me in the back of my head. I am. Um, I, I, I am very modest when it comes to nudity. I'll do bathing suits all day long. I don't even wear a thong like uh, on, on the beach. My friends are trying to get me to do it. Like it's a big deal if I do. Um, when I did it, you have a nice body. I don't understand why, why you, I just would never have thought that of you, Claudia. I'm pretty conservative in real life. Y'all hung with me in Miami. I'm pretty conservative as much as people yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm pretty right. conservative. Um, when I got done hosting Miss Universe, I got approached and contacted to do Playboy. And they, I, I, I was trying to make it happen where I didn't, wasn't able to show anything. Like, I'm like, can I do side nudity? I, I just couldn't do it. I would feel very vulnerable myself. I'm just not brave enough to do it. I don't know. But Al, I might have a part for you in the next play if you ready to show that. <laughs>